Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Kampulira kwa mine ya mani. Hallelujah. Amen. Zino overnight ze tujamu. This overnight to which we come. We come when we are going to make a prayer that transform life, that transform destiny, that transform all our history. I want you to make an event. Believe in there is something that is changing in your life. Hallelujah! Amen! Hey! Praise the Lord. In life we go through so many challenges. We go through so many problems. And those things have to us. When there is no way to escape. Tonight. There is someone who is going to break through from something. So say this same means. Believe that you are going to escape from something. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, hey. Ah, Hear this. As we have come here this night, there is someone who has been confused. When they do not know what is next, they don't even know how to begin from tomorrow. But now that you came to this night, through our prayers tonight, God is going to enlighten your destiny. And then you will know where you go. I want you to say amen. Saying the Lord is going to enlighten your destiny. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Ulira, chino chempulira. This is what I feel. I used to come here for various nights when I had sorrow and tears some, what someone cannot see what I could not explain to you but I've seen God come and shut them away even this night there are people that one is going to wipe their tears away from them and their tears will be dry and they will no more see their tears now say amen when you believe God he's going to wipe away your Hallelujah. amen in my tongues the Lord as you welcome the Holy Spirit Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. We thank you for this time to which you've brought us. We believe you are going to see your goodness and you're going to speak unto us and our lives will not remain the same. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Love for the Lord as you take your seat. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn to your neighbor and greet them. And tell them praise the Lord. Thank you for coming to the night. This is a night for the overcomers. It's a night for the fighters. It's for those people who want to transform their lives. You cannot have forsaken your bed when you've left your home and you've come to the house of the Lord and then the Lord does not change anything in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A minister in this house and a son. With one wife. Her name is Flower. Clap for her. We have two children. And the Lord is still blessing us with more children. Hallelujah. Amen. And even you who wants a blessing of children, say amen. I want to honor the leadership of this church. Being led by our father, Dr. Joseph Serumaga. Let us clap for him.
He works together with the pastoral committee of many pastors and various ministers. And even tonight, the ministers are in the house. But the time it comes to morning, your life would have been changed. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for my brother, Mr. Dan Bazira. He's a mighty man and learn a lot from him. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are not going to use very many minutes to share something that we are going to share. And after sharing, we are going to pray. And our lives will not remain the same. That is what I'm sure of. In the name of our Lord Jesus. We are not going to speak about so many things. We are going to speak about few things. And because we are in the night time, we are going to read a few few verses as well. And afterwards we shall pray. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. What I've come to speak about Operation get out of the prison. Operation leave the prison. Operation leave the prison. Hallelujah. Amen. There are so many government projects that are coming up. There is Operation Wealth Creation. Those operations come up. And they help some people who have understood them and they benefit. And their lives are transformed. And others remain behind. And even this night, in this session, one will understand and they get hold of it and they believe it. They are going to escape from the prison in the name of our Lord Jesus whether you know or not you may find yourself inside prison but this night in this session there are prisons that are going to be opened in Jesus' name when I got to I'm going to minister this is what came to me to speak about after having one person that I was praying for they had tried so many things and they had failed whatever they would try to do they would fail when they call her for work she would fail and even something she could do on her own she would fail sometimes they would get accidents sometimes they become sick different challenges and they find that opportunity has been given away sometimes but when I understood that situation as I was praying for them I got a revelation that they had put them in a cage like you might see a prison but in this prison where they were the prison had a fence there was no entrance or exit. Whenever they would try to go out, they would be pierced by the thorns and the fence. They would be as them and they would feel pain and they could not break out. And afterwards, they would remain in the prison. But when they remain in the middle of the prison, they would have some peace. But whenever they would try to break out of the prison, it would only be problems. And I told them to get out of this prison. It requires you might prayers. And even here, I feel that there is a woman, there is a man, that you are in a certain prison where you are. But every time you try to leave it, you fail. Every time you try to escape, you find bigger challenges. But tonight, as the Lord leads, you are going to break out of it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. The prison. You can explain it as something that we see. The prison we know is a building. It could be a high building or something short. It 
It is constructed with a lot of protection. And getting out of it is not easy. Some of you watched a movie by a title Prison Break. Getting out of there was not easy. Even other prisons are constructed in such a manner. But these are some of the things that are found in a prison. Number one, there is no light in the prison. Just like you see the light here. Food is very limited. It's very you cannot eat and get satisfied. However big your appetite is, the food is very meaningful. Life is very hard. In prison, you don't receive visions there. There isn't anything you see ahead. In a prison, there is no hope. And you find someone and they're asking them, what is going on? I'm just here. I don't know what is coming next. When the light they are in is a prison life. In prison there is no hope. You do not know what is coming next. You do not know what is going to happen next. You don't know how tomorrow will be. You don't know how next week will be. Even next year you do not know about it. Prison. There are hard things there are in. You do not have the ability to meet your friends. You cannot meet your family while in prison. In prison, you put on in a bad way. You don't put on something that you want. They put they give you garments of the prison. That even when someone sees you, they know that one is a prisoner. The situation is that of the prison. In prison, there is no peace. Freedom. You cannot go wherever you want. You don't have joy. You find someone. When they got angry and got angry and they're still angry. No matter what funny thing they say, they do not laugh. They're in a situation that is like a joy prison. When the life they live, it's a life like a joy prison. If a, pri a physical prison is tough, it is very evil. And even phones, they say that says, one wishes you a prison, they wish you death. In prison, we think about dying. You do not see any hope. There is nothing you hope to do. There isn't anything to which you're going to put your hand. The situation is that of a prison. The prisons that we see are very tough. And when we come back to the spiritual realm, if those in the physical no, attack, and it's even hard to break I out of them, how about a spiritual prison? But tonight, the prison, the spiritual prison, that are going to be open. Ah. I told you because it's nice. We're not going to read very, very many, many verses. We are going to read only four verses. One, two, three, four. And by the time we wind up the fourth, then we shall be praying. Open your Bible to the book of the king. Which king? Second king. Chapter 25. The last four verses. We are going to read verse 27. Verse 28. Verse 29. And verse 30. By the time we crown those verses, then we shall pray. Praise the Lord. Where we are going to read, there was a king. This king. He's called. <laughs> Who has ever heard of him? Let me see someone who has ever heard of him. He's in your Bible. There is a king. Just like you've never heard about it. God is going to release in a way that you've never thought about. God is going to do something that you've never thought about. Because you're going to see what it is. Because God is going to do it in your life. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Evil Merodach. Amen. 
Verse 27. We are in 2 Kings chapter 25 and verse 27. Let us see. The Bible says, Verse 27. Now it, came, Amen. now it came to pass in the 37th year of the captivity of Je Jehoiakim, king of Judah, in the 12th month, on the 27th day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the year that he began to reign, released Jehoiakim, king of Judah, from prison. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There is a man here. He was a king. King Jehoiakim. He was a king of Judah. And then Judah was taken into captivity. It was taken into captivity. They left their territory. And they went to Babylon. In that time, King Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. He got all of them and took them and took them to captivity in Babylon. And even the others who remained in Jerusalem and in Judah, most of them were killed. The cities were burned down and the houses were burned down. Now when they went to captivity, of those that went to captivity, those who went into captivity, that was a full king. King Jehoiakim. Think about a king. The life that he has been living. The life that he's used to. He's free to go wherever he wants. He does whatever he wants to do. He eats every kind of food that he desires. The servants there that are serving him. Remember in the Old Testament, kings had very many wives. Think about a king. One who had various wives. Who had made servants. And perhaps he plays with the children. You see, I go back home and my daughter has touched my head as they must have Now think about this king. Who was enjoying a good life? He plays with his children. At this time he's been captured. He's in prison. Whatever he could do, he cannot do it anymore. Those that would come and bow down before him, O oh, king, Long live the king, king of kings. You're the best. There is isn't anyone that bows before him. He's in prison. Those that are honoring him, they no longer honor him. Those who knew about the, his name and his fame, those things are no longer known. The food that would always serve on his table, and he eats very well and enjoys. The food is no longer there. Think about about the situation of this king while in prison. It was a very tough situation. It was a one that would bring tears. It was a sorrowful state. It was a situation to remember the joy he had and the problems he has now. When all his vision is when he was going to tell the people of Judah this is what we are going to do this year right now he has nothing to, no people to stand before and tell them what he thinks about the kingly garment that he would put on and change every other time that was shining he could not put them anymore this king was wealthy the things they used to use in his house were golden vessels the folks that placed the cups and spoons but perhaps now he's using his hands to eat I went some time ago to Megastan supermarket and I found a fork and a spoon 
the forks and spoons. The fork edge, one eh, fork ya mitwalo 10 would cost 100,000 shillings. Can you imagine? So a jike mwecha wala chai one spoon ya mitwalo 10 costing 100,000 shillings. Ne wano bobuza bili makagaba antu wa mekoja kusanga babale. If you ask people who have those things, you'll find that there are just a few in this Nika place. Muka baka. Now think about a oh, king. No. This king. He did only have the forks and spoons. So one. The the place, most of the things to use were golden. The light that he lived was a good light. They would just drive him on a chariot. And he would go wherever he wanted waving to people. But in such a season, he was now captured. And he was in prison. And not in prison for just one year. Not two years. Not three years. But for 37 years. Perhaps there is someone here who is 37 years of age when this message has come to you and it's yours. And God is going to make you escape. God is going to deliver you. And the testimony that you're going to get, it will amaze people. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. But when this king was in the prison, when life was tough in that prison, God remembered him. And God brought evil Merodach. Imagine Nebuchadnezzar being the king of Babylon. For all the years this man has been in prison. And Nebuchadnezzar goes away. And another king comes out. And when this other king came, then this man set him free from prison. Ah! I do not know how long he spent in the the time he spent in the prison while whether he spent a week there or a month or a year or years today tonight God has sent me to tell you that you're going to get out of that prison it was like this man was dreaming he could not expect that he would get out of the prison but then a day came and God brought another king of Babylon and the man was released from prison you are also going to be released from that prison in the name of our Lord Jesus hallelujah amen I do not know which kind of prison you are in. In which situation you are in that is like a prison. Prison represents the various situations we go through that are tough. They are inexplainable. You've explained to your friends but they cannot help you. Your brothers and sisters cannot help you. The people you pray with cannot help you. You've gone to various places for prayers and you fail. And you go to the mountains but still fail. And you've tried everything and then fail. That situation is a prison like situation. But this night, as the Lord lives, as he sits on the throne of mercy and grace, he's going to take you out of that prison in Jesus' name. Ah! One who believes it say amen. The various situations represent the prisons we are in. You may be in a situation where you have no job. And that is the prison in which you are. You've searched out for the, for the job and you've sought for it but failed to find it. Wherever it takes your application, they do not see them. They pretend like they have not thought about it. And yet you have other qualifications. And even those that are employed in that company, you're much more qualified than them. But they have the jobs in that place while you do not have a job. For you not to have a job has become a prison unto you. It has taken time. It has taken years. You've prayed and fasted. But as we end up Month of prayer and fasting. That there are things that cannot go away well by prayer and 
This prison is going to be opened in Jesus' name. Why do we have to get out of this prison? When your comfort and side do not have a job, okay. as long as I'm at home, as long as there is something I can do, I have someone that hosts me. You don't know how long that situation is going to take. If the situation turns around and remains in place, do you see how you're going to start thinking that there is no money in Uganda? that you think about going to Arab nations to work yet you're filled by the spirit and anointing but because you're in a prison like situation you can get there and still fail I've seen some who go and they come back without being paid and some people are chased away from them this is a great issue we have to pray for that the Lord blesses us in our nation Uganda Last week I had tears over my heart. There is a girl called Sarah. We used to serve with her. We used to move with her. We would go to various crusades and preach the gospel. She was a singer and some of us were preachers. But perhaps they, she failed to work in Uganda. So she traveled, she traveled abroad to the Arab nations. She has spent some time there. When she was there, she was injected with some drugs, taken to hospital, and took out some of her inner parts, and she became very sick. And she was brought back to Uganda. A month has gone by, and then they told me that Sarah is dead. And I said, What? So that issue we are tackling is key. You don't know maybe the reason in which you are. How far it could take you. It could take you to a level of losing your life. When your time not yet come. There are still so many you need to benefit. Just because you're not working. That prison of not working. That prison of not having a job. You're going to break out of it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. There are very many people here. They're in prison. When the prison which you are is a marriage like prison, you prayed and prayed and prayed, but failed. Whatever you've tried to do has failed. You've tried to position yourself. No one is taking you out of that trap. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're a beautiful girl. You make up very well. And you look good. But whoever comes to you is just joking. Saying, they just say, you look beautiful. You know you look good to be a wife in a home. And they end at that. And another comes and they're like that. And another like And no one takes you. You're breaking out of that prison. Today. In Jesus' name. Some of you that what has caused the prisons of not getting married is a spiritual thing. They sent spirits unto you. Or they got you married to demons. Whenever you sleep and dream, you go to your bed to sleep. You dream when the men that come and use you. Whenever you try to say that you're going to get married, those demons say this person belongs to us. We married her. We have her. The reason why you're going to escape. Those spiritual prisons are going to be opened in Jesus' name. I'm giving you prayer points. When we get into prayer, we are going to search ourselves and tell that all prisons where we've been captured. Today we are breaking out of them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You're a man and you've grown old. And you're wondering why you're not married. I was with a young man on Sunday. I used to consider him like a young man. Like about 20 something years. 
and asking them, when are you marrying? I'll marry. I'll marry. And I asked him, how old are you? And he told me I'm 35 years old. And I told him, sit here. 35 years of age. That an old man, and you're not yet married, who bewitched you? Praise the Lord. There are things we need to break out of. Let me show you the calculation. If you're 35 years and you want to wear that first when I get to give back your first bone and your second bone, when will you produce your last bone? Will you be able to pay for your children to get to university? If you die before they go to school, we'll pay their fees. Why don't you produce and get to a level of seeing your grandchildren? The Bible says a wise man leaves inheritance to their grandchildren. Who are you going to leave your inheritance? Don't you start get taking long to marry as a man is a prison? We are going to get out of that prison. Perhaps they were They were telling you good things Making you boast You see women trouble a lot Remain single Those women eat Who tells you Do not be content in that situation There is another life When you get out of that state in which you are I was single. And they had given me that title, I'm that bishop of that single. And I was also content of that. And I said, Fabi, Hallelujah. Amen. Now, we are going to break out of those prisons. You could have tried in your own potential and failed. The one you'll be truth refused. Whoever you'll be truth refused. But God is going to help you. The reason man who, with, they were going to introduce, they got ready to be introduced. And the girl said they had prepared very well. The in-laws are coming. What time are they coming at one? And then the in-laws also prepared themselves. The groom prepared himself. Invited the friends as well. After getting a place to gather from, they had put on their clothes, they had bought all the things they needed, and then they are saying, Now we are setting off. Where we are going, they are already waiting for us. As they were getting ready to get into that car, whoever would get into that car, they would try to ignite so they can go. The car refused to be ignited. And no car would leave that place. They brought all the mechanics. And the mechanics tried, but they failed. One p.m., Munana, two p.m., Mwenda, three p.m., kumi, kumi nemu, four p.m., five p.m., six p.m., and our car still refused. Until they say, let us give up on the function. Let us return back home. But this is what is amazing. Whoever got into the car, saying we've given up on the function, let me go back home. Igniting it, it would ignite. And everyone set off to go back home. Which kind of prison is that? Perhaps what you're in is a prison such as that. But in this night, in this prayer, those prisons are going to be broken down. They are going to be broken down. They are going to be broken down. One say, one say, one say, yes. Praise the Lord. Perhaps the prison in which you are is one of sickness. The disease you suffer from perhaps is from your family and by it has started long You visit the doctors but you fail to get healed. It has become a prison. We were in Lagos sometime. 
We went to pray for the sick. The reason man that we met, he had been sick, he had grown thin, they are bedridden, they are badly old. But the doctor thought of what he was suffering from and they could not find it. And he had spent months there. By the grace of God, we prayed for him. And we believed God that he was going to be healed. And we left. But those that are taking care of that patient, we gave them an announce. And one week passed, they told us that person had been taken away from the hospital. There are certain sickness that have come when it's a prison. Now the operation is to leave the prison. We are also leaving the prisons of sicknesses in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. It could be a prison of not giving birth. Why do we have to break out of these prisons? They cause others around us to think that God does not work. Those around us ask, why, why do you pray? They ask us, where is your goal? And we also get to a level of hating God. And we get to a level of hating the brethren. And we even get to a level of hating the church. I have two friends of mine. A girl and a boy. They got married. Now they're about to make four years in marriage. They do not have a child. They used to come to church previously and whoever would encounter the girl, they would ask them how are the children. It became a thorn in her life. Because she's in a prison, she was in much pain. The tears increased upon her heart. Right now to come to church, it's hard. Now we have to get out of this prison. If we don't leave this prison, we are going to hate God and even get, get out of our church. Thinking that our God does not work. But this is what is. He's covering that this is my issue. This is the prison in which I am. This is the captivity I have. And I've come before the Lord. Oh, let this prison be broken down. That I may be released in the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The prison could be one of poverty. When what you have is not sufficient. When the life you're going through is very tough. The money that you earn is not enough for you to take of yourself. And when you tell it to someone, they wonder how you live. But you also say you live by the grace of God. But the Lord has a full life better than that. That prison of not having enough of poverty, we are going to break out of it. I don't know if there is anyone who is like me. There are things that I want to pray for. If you've been released, please pray for me. I'll not forget. I had finished my university. I had my degree. Passed very well. I searched for jobs. And I first failed to get work. I used to stay in Chikoni. And I got a job at Nanklabi on the hill. They would give me 15,000 weekly. Implying that is 60,000. My sister laughed and wondered how I did it. But remember, I'm a degree holder. The life I was living was very tough. Much more than the maid we have at home. It, it was very hard. 
They will pay me 15,000 weekly. And yet a week would come. And then you get to what day you're supposed to be paid. And they tell you there is no money. And then you know that that month. You will not demand for that money in the next week. Just know for that month you're going to earn for 45,000. It would even take two weeks in a month. Implying for a month you're going to work for 30,000 shillings. You're a degree holder. Think about that kind of captivity. Think about that situation. I would stay in Chikoni here. I would walk on foot to go where I used to work and return. I used to stay with a friend of mine. I did not have the money to pay for rent. It was my the, my friend's parents that used to pay for the money I used to stay. Think about that life of being in a prison. You cannot provide for what you want. You cannot pay your own rent. You cannot board a taxi. You walk on foot. How can you buy a new garment? Even eating was hard. Speaking about a life in a prison. The situation was so tough. We had our neighbors and there were girls. One was still at school and the other had finished. But they used to get food from their parents. And they would cook. And whenever they would prepare food, they would share with me. Praise the Lord. The situation was very When I used to work, they would give me lunch. They would give me little food and you don't get satisfied. And when you return home in the night, and this will prepare the food, and they, food, and they, food, 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 and they give you a piece and you eat. Life was the life of a prison then. Have mercy on me and say sorry. How can to the other problems? Because they would give me part of their food to eat. The next morning, it was I to watch the utensils that we used. Praise the Lord. Because they gave you food, you need to watch the utensils. The situation was very tough. It was a situation of not having enough. It was a sorrowful state. A life of very much poverty. A life of tears. But what is amazing? I was in the church. I was born again. One filled by the Spirit. I would even speak in tongues. Until I discovered. And I said this is a prison. And I said enough is enough. I said I'm getting out of this prison. I said I'll call upon the Lord. I'll call upon God. And you'll take me out of this prison. Friend, when I decided to call upon God. God, God began to release me from the prison and then I saw myself step out. Now there is a difference. Even as he is going to pray tonight, God is going to release you. You're going to get out of that prison. You're going to break through and your life will become free indeed. Ah! Praise the Lord. If it requires to bring a pastor, may the Lord bring you a pastor who is going to take you out of that prison. Praise the Lord. Jehoiakin was in a prison. Until the Lord brought King Evil Murder and said, I've released him. Let him go out of prison. And the man got out of prison. Let there be someone the Lord brings for you who will take you out of that prison. Let there be a person the Lord brings to you to take your application at company that you receive the job. Let there be a person the Lord brings to you. 
department yo, that there may be a manager in your department in that you're promoting in Jesus' name. If you're a sister and you're not yet married, some have seen that your years have grown. Let the Lord bring you a brother. The one that you've been considered as though you're old. And the brother says, look, look at this young girl. I want Hallelujah. to Amen. Verse 28. Praise the Lord. We are in the operation leaving the prison. We are going to leave the prison that bound us. In which had spent years. In which had spent a long time. And when we get into prayer. And I want you to move around things that you're going out of the place. Spiritual things are Real. What you create in a spiritual room is going to be manifest. As you're going to pray that I'm leaving this prison, God is going to set you free and you get out of it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 28. We are going to leave the prison. We are not going to die therein. There are many people who are in prison and they died in the prison. A man is called Napoleon Bonaparte. He was very mighty. But when he was in prison, he was in prison uh, at St. Helena Island. That is where he died from. If you are not careful to get out of prisons, we shall die right here. And then we shall not leave a legacy behind. Will those after us talk about us as people who died having failed? We are not going to die in our prisons in Jesus' name. Think about Nelson Mandela. For 27 years he was in prison. But after he got now out of it and he became the president of South Africa, you're going to also get out of the prison in which you've been and you'll be very beneficial indeed. Ah. These are some of the things you are going to have when you get out of or the prison. Or things are going to happen unto you. Verse 28. I said you are going to read four verses. We read the first one. Now we are reading a second. The third and the fourth and we shall pray. Second Kings 25 verse 28. Namugambe Vietchisa. He spoke kindly to him and gave mm. him a more prominent seat than those of other kings that were in Babylon. Amen. Jehoiakim left the prison. After he left the prison, his seat was exalted. His level was exalted. And he was much more prominent than all the other things in the prison. The moment you get to the prison, God is going to elevate you. You're going to be prominent. You're going to be much more than your friends that are around you. You're going to exceed your Ministers, ministers. Ministers, ministers. But you're going to be excellent much more than your ministers. There are rich people in your family. But this person you're going to break out of. The Lord is going to exalt you much higher than those in your family. One has understood, say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is going to make you prominent in the name of our Lord Jesus. Verse 29. So Jehoiahin changed from his prison garments and he ate bread regularly before the king all the days of his life. There are garments that are prison. 
they are prison guards. Everyone sees them and they see a prison. But as you are going to get out of this prison, God is going to exchange your garments. Those that were prison garments and they are going to become glorious Amen. The garment of rejection that you had will become a garment of favor in Jesus' name. The people who come and begin to relate to you don't know where they have come from. People who come and give you capital for your business when you do not know them. That someone invites you for a job when you are not requested for it. When the garment has been changed. When God has given you a garment of victory. When failure has left and you left that prison of failure and now you're putting on the garment of victory there is someone who's going to begin to be victorious from today you've been doing so many things and you've been failing many things have been failing but after this night God is going to release you and gives you a garment of favor and victory that whatever you lay your hands on to that they will prosper hallelujah amen praise the lord our last verse verse 30 the bible says and for his provisions, that was a regular ration given him by the king, a portion for each day or the days of his life. Close your Bible. Praise the Lord. When this man left the prison, he was given food, daily portions of food. The moment the Lord is going to set you free from that prison, you are going to pray for this one thing. That he would give you daily provisions for food. This represents a business life. That you may have your own business. When you've left that life of a prison, that you may have your own business that brings money a daily income. Hallelujah. Amen. Why do we need a business that brings in daily income? Because you have daily needs. You have to spend money every other day. There is a requirement you need to pay for every other day. So this one was taken out of the prison. They used to give him provisions for every day. May the Lord release you as well. That you may get out of the prison. Of not having but that you may always have something that you earn every day in the name of Jesus. When the Lord released me from that situation, I was tough. From a level of earning 60,000 a month, and the Lord helped me to begin my own business that brings in money every day. What I used to make a month, I make that money a day or even and make much more. The money I used to make that that 60,000 a month, when I bring the money that I make monthly, it multiplies that money 20 times, sometimes 30, 30 times, and at times 40 times. May the Lord set you free that He elevates your life. I said this as you rise up 
believe in the Lord is going to elevate you. That He may make you excellent more than those around you. That He may exalt you higher than the situations you've been in. That He may make you excellent at level at which you've been. That He may change the garments of failure. That you may become much more than a conqueror. That you may become more than a conqueror. That you may become more than a conqueror. That you may become much more than a conqueror. That you may become 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 more than a conqueror. That you may Exalt me higher. Higher than those around me. I mukama. Oh Lord. Bo mukisa. Bless me. Kole mirimu. That I may work. That I may set up business and bring in money every other day. Oh Lord, exchange my garments, my garments of failure that you dress me with, a garment of victory. I'll go ahead. I'll be exalted. I'll be lifted. I'll be multiplied. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A mighty hunger for the Lord. The Lord has blessed us with Sonyambe, 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 Sonyambe,
Katona mwete kefoku nunula Omu kazo ya saba Omu sajo ya saba Kena masoka muka mosabe Tine jilo ah, Tachi pitako Sisi kala muko mela mwena bade Sisi kala muko mela mwena bade Oba komele liyari liyandogo Baku atari nyari ange Nebali tuwala kumaralo Nebali oke la kebi kambo Nebali kambo yotari kula kulana Oyotari wasa Oyotari zara Oyotari fomilwa Nijayo ah, Mukama Tufuluma ama komela Ama komela Tuga fuluma E chino cholu alero Abaye Wali wa mafuta Wali wa mafuta Aga tutolosa Okutuja makomera Raya rande yere baba baba Raka shata yara baba baba Rende yere bo sheke yere baba baba Shanda yara bo sete yere ba Katonda tulokola Katonda tuyamba Katonda tusumulula Katonda tuja makomera Ama kamera genda gano Enda gano kubula mwafe Enda gano zobu sime Enda gano zobu du Enda gano zenaku Enda gano zemi zibu nemi tawana Emi zibu nga bitu otolode Abaye Yoko yakini Katonda ya musini kira evi melodaki Na mucha mukomera E chilo chino Katonda mwene yete kese Oku tuwe jira muma komera Rande yere bo shete yere ba 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 Reke shete yere ba 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 Rande yara ba shete yere ba Abaye Wali wa saba Wali wa kawola Abaye Wali wa tolo kanga saba Wali wa furu moloku saba Ama komera kekula Beziba antana Entana za sama Entana zo kufa Se kula Tuvayo Ayayayaya Uwela vengo tambula Ova mutaneyo Ova mukamereyo Raya rende yere bo shika yara bababa Repo sete yere rende yere bababa Mukama tutoloka O tutolosa O tutosumulula O tuta Yere nde yere bo sika yara ba 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 Reke shete yere ba 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 Rande yere ba Owa ye saba Saba O toloka O fuluma Ere kolme doli fuluma Oba doli mase mwe miaka Katonda kuchukide Katonda kuvira yo Chino che chino Aye ye 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 Shende yere bo sete yere ba 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 Shende yere bo shete yere ba 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 Raka shete yere ba O kuluma O toloka O wakusa Aye ye 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 Katonda kununula Katonda kujayo Katonda kutolosa Katonda kutolosa Katonda kutolosa Yere nde yere ba 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 Yere ya yesu kristo Tutoloka Otoloka Otoloko kufa mubu sibe Otoloko kufa mwechecha kufa takumula mubo Otoloko kufa mkule mererua Tutoloko kufa mkule mererua Intoloka ne famile yange Intoloka ne baganda bange Intoloka ne wanyinase Oli nyari ya Yesu Christo Waliweche chari charumba Family sisafe Waliweche chari charumba magenda gafe Waliweche chivade chitu sivida wantu Ngatwe matisa necho chetulimu Na yama chakoru walero Oli nyari ya Yesu Christo Christo, tu ye miri amu yinso wa tu ewa. O kutoro kabuli impere yona. O kutoro sobu la mu wafe. Inu nula miri mo jange. Inu nula business sange. Inu nula magenda gange. Inu nula magenda gange. Inu nula ba na bange. O kusome swa kwa ba na bange. Inu nula business zamu chala wange. Inu nula poli nyali aye so Christo kabaka kabaka kabaka. Enchoru alero tu inu nula. Enchoru alero tu somoka. Tu somoko kuba mama komera. Ama komera kwa wafu Ama komera kwa kule mererua Ama komera kwa nam Ako mutawasa Ako mutawasa
Tuta fumbirwa Ama komera ko bravo Tunonwa Tusomoka Oluwarero tusomoka Oluwarero tusomoka Kanoke mawanga Akabanda mama soka fe Na yoluwarero Muli nyari ya yeso kwe soka waka 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 Aga moko fe toba denga tuwa chagiwa Na yoluwarero tununuliwa Oluwarero tutoloka Otutolo samoka ma Kaba 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 kaya insebi tu yona encholu wale romoli nyeri ya yeso tata wali waba bade ba sibi duendwade tata wali waba bade ba sibi duendwade na yama chako wale romukama ikuwe mwenye mukama tutunua otununu la mukama otutolo soko ba mundwade endwade sabo sali danua mukama zi tutolo samo moli nyeri ya yeso kwe soko kaba 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 chine chufaje chuli mucha kuwani siwa chine chufaje chuli yimiri na mukama chako tasi Chine chifache chuli mine mamo kama Chaku somo sabwa Katonda yinze vintu yona Mewabera waba sadja mwa chusa Mewabera waba kazi mwa chusa Nafe tutuno tusa ama chakoru walero Tutuno tusa matabanyi wane mawalamo Ama chakoru walero mokama Nga tuma nyiti tulina kwe katonda Tulina katonda chusa Tulina katonda tutolosa Tulina katonda tuyamba Tuseri kwa tuyamba Tuseri kwa tununula Tuseri kwa tununula Mokamo sabwa Mwa manyo haba nafu Haba bada haba nafu Muka mwaba nunula Haba bada haba kogo Muna mwaba nunula Muka mwaba bada haba tamudu haba tasa Muli nyari ya yeso kweso kaba 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 kaka Katonda na nyene chutiwa No yogereri vetero No yogereri paulo Wakati mwukomera Na sumululua No musumulula mwukama Katonda na nyene chutiwa Enchoru walero mwukama Tulangirira Tulangirira mwukama Enchagero kukotoka Tusasamu enchagero zono kukotoka Tuetwa Kulu lo kwenja kere zona Muli nyari ya yeso kweso kaba 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 Katonda yamba, katonda atasa Mokwano kwa fetu manyeti wetu za joli Mokama ye kwatu yamba Ye kwatu nunula mokama Ye kwatu somo sa mokama Muli nyari ya yeso kweso katonda na nyene chutiwa Mokama tukirisa Okula wa mwolonje wa mokama Tukirisa Tato kutase magenda gafe Nunule vigere viyango kufa mokomera Nunule vigere viyango kufa mokomera Vigere viyange minulo kufa mokomera Vigere viyange minulo kufa mwito sito sito Muli nyari ya yeso kweso kaba 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 Tata kwa wayo kena no gamba Evi kene vya mwa wabi nari nyanga gamba wade wawo Mokama muli nyari ya yeso kweso katonda na nyene chutiwa Echonchi na vienga chiva denga techikola Na evi ya wandiki wabi okende Iti kwa mwene mokama Evi kene vya kwa mokama Tato minunula Ononule evi kene vya mokanda wangoyo Ononule evi kene vya mwanyina soyo Ononule evi kene vya mushara wange Ononule evi kene vya mana wange Muli nyari ya yeso kweso kaba 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 tate mikono jange e mikono jange mukama baibe yokende ne gamba iti kwa weno na wango mkisa e mili moje mikono jange mukama na ye mikono jange ibade mikuwa tako mukama gate vitawula e nchoru walero mukama onunule mili moje mikono jange onunule mili moje mikono jange onunule mili moje mikono jange ojicha yomo musibe ojicha yomo musibe ojicha yomo musibe katonda na njini chutiwa kaba 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 mikono jango ruwalero ojitasa ojitasa katonda na njini chutiwa haba moko fetu tosene tukamba esente ze tukola ze zitu yitamongalo kaba 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 encho ruwalero katonda yamba katonda nunula katonda tutasa encho ruwalero tase mikono jange otase mikono jange kaba 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 katonda na njini chutiwa ye mikono jange jina vera no mokisa ye mikono jange jina vera no mokisa ye mikono java na vange jike na kumera kwa mokisa ye mikono java na vange mokama muli chemi unakuwa tanga kwa chitafe inga chira vwa mokisa kaba 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 ayinze vintu yonda tetulina katonda muna latu yamba tetulina chitafo muna latu yamba ye kwa weka tu yamba ye kwa weka tu yamba kaba 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 enchoru walero enchoru walero akamu akamu Akamwa kango kaja yomu komera Kase kogere vikambe vikisima Kase kalangiri ne vikambo ne vitukirira E vikambe vyubi Ngabye vitukirira Na yoru wale romu kama Akamwa kango katolosa Akamwa kango kaja yomu komera Muli nyari ya yeso kweso kama 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 Katonda na njini chitiwa Tukiriso kula momu lungi wamu kama Tukiriso kula mechitiwa chachitafe Tukiriso kula momu kono wamu kama Tukiriso kula mokununga misu wakomu 
kama jawandi kwa mchitabo cha Isaya sura ya 5 okuvira dala kulunyiri yorusoka tata noyogera no kamba elyo yogwe nafuka kama futa ndi mukwata ku mikono ne mukulembera ne mutwala mu chifwo echakwe kemwe mirembe ne mirembe ne mula gobu kaka obwakisiwa bachajale kabaka 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 encholwa lero onkulembera mukama encholwa lero otukulembera mukama mu mwesi kuno kwa musambu otukulembera mukama inga tuli mu mwesi kuno mukama mu mwesi okusokera dalam Uganda in the financial year 2020 to 2023 to yemirira kuwanka chuwa Uganda nyemirira kuwanka chuwa Uganda nyemirira kuwanka chuwa Uganda inga wele do muyinsa okulangirira i take hold of my gate i take hold of the economy of this nation i take hold of king of glory muri nyali ya yeso kweso kabaka kabaka tata tukuwe chitibwa mukama tukuwe chitibwa tafe tukuwe chitibwa mukama tukumulomisa kwa yinse bintu byona tukwe Chakorwa Nero, Tukwe Mazama Chakorwa Nero, Gwenanyi Chitibwa.